a good word, y'all. It's your boy DKB here. So we know the New York Jets schedule. We know who we're facing when we're facing them. And for the first time, and I'm not even sure when, we have a huge advantage of our on our side, um, even though we have the sixth strongest schedule in the NFL, generally speaking. Some sites have a different formula they use, and so slight adjustments, but generally top six uh, schedule in the league in terms of difficulty. And so the advantage we have that nobody else in the NFL generally is going to be able to say the same is about is we have 12 rest days overall over the course of our 18 week schedule, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it ranks us number one in the NFL, or I guess technically the better way to put it is net um, rest days as opposed to the rest of the NFL, which means um, there's going to be portions of our schedule where we have an additional day, two, maybe even three days, depending on some of these primetime games that are in effect, um, travel time, different things of that nature that are going to come up for the New York Jets. And we actually get more rest than our opponents in five games, which ranks second in the NFL. Now, when you compare this to like, let's say the last five years, we've generally not only had one of the strongest schedules in the league, I think we only had a bottom third strength of schedule maybe once or twice uh, the last five years. And when you consider how high we've been picking more often than not, you think that would be an anomaly. But um, when you combine the strength of schedule uh, and the fact that in previous years, we've also have had the least amount of rest days more often than not uh, compared to our opponents, it set us up to very unfavorable matchups, um, putting us at risk of potential health and injury concerns for our roster, which um, could be something the NFL will want to look into when it comes to their scheduling anyways, uh, because what's going to generally come up with a lot of these um, situations for people that are specifically talking about this topic is going to be player health and then the fairness of the schedule. How come, uh, you know, this many teams are getting an additional two to three days of rest and uh, some of these other teams aren't getting any or they're actually getting significantly less by two or three days. Um, so we'll see how that pans out. I know there's a complex formula uh, and you know algorithm for how they go about handling this whole thing, but very critical time for us with us bringing in Aaron Rodgers. Uh, and of course, the expectations that we go out there and try to win our division, hopefully lead the AFC in terms of the, the win-loss column, and then of course, make a deep playoff push that should result in a Super Bowl ring from my view of things. Um, so I couldn't be happier to see this for us. Don't sleep on this. It is going to be a very underrated portion of how the New York Jets performed this season. And again, when you factor in our own injury history over the last five years as well, you are going to be excited, uh, especially if you're a guy like Aaron Rodgers, uh, Randall Cobb, some of these veterans that we've been bringing in, Dwayne Brown, they're going to be ecstatic to have that extra day or two of rest where they don't um, you know, have to, to go out there and basically strain their body more so than uh, will be necessary to be called upon. So um, I know there was another note I had in here. Oh, one of the final things when it comes to our roster and how things, uh, excuse me, our schedule and how things pan out for us. One of the benefits of this entire thing to kind of put it in perspective for you guys is we never play with more than a one day rest day disadvantage during our schedule, which means we are either going to be even with them or we are going to have a positive advantage in terms of having an extra day or two to heal up the bodies, work on a game plan, uh, get a, a, that additional practice in and maybe tips the scales in our favor. And again, with Aaron Rodgers leading the way for the offense and depending on which leader you want to go to, uh, Quentin Williams or a guy like Sauce Gardner, DJ Reed, CJ Mosley, uh, we're going to have a lethal combination of internal traits and skills as well as uh you know this scheduling advantage is going to help us out quite a bit so let me know what your guys thoughts are and i will catch you again peace